about a year or so ago I decided to get rid of the open differentials and lower my gears. I went from 410s to 488s and I put a Torsen differential in the front and a Detroit True Track in the rear. Originally I'd gone to Red Desert Off-Road and I talked to the guys there and I said that I wanted an air locker in the rear. And after talking to the guy, he he said that he had had he has lots of rock crawlers with air lockers and they work great, but they you do get air leaks and um, in the shop people are constantly coming in for fixes um, on their air lockers. So he suggested that since this is mostly a, a camping weekend warrior go to Home Depot type truck, that I might want to think about getting a true track and a Torsen in the front just so there's no airlines, there's no actuators, there's no compressor, everything is just in the differentials ready to go. If I was trying to make the Tacoma into a rock crawler, I 100% would have gone with some sort of selectable locker front and rear, and I probably would have done 529 gears. With the 33 inch tires, I think the 488 is about perfect. I think 34s would be good as well. If I was going with a 32 inch tire, I'd probably do 456, uh, but I've been really happy with the 488s. It's spun up a little bit on the, the freeway, and if you have a second gen Tacoma that's a manual transmission, uh, your speedometer will be off by about nine miles an hour at like 80 or so. The tours and differentials are probably most known for being in like the military Humvees. I think some of the Ford Raptors have them too. They're basically, they act like open differentials until one of the tires starts to slip, then it sends more power to the tire that has traction. Uh, the Detroit True Tracks are pretty common in like drag racing applications. Uh, they're also known as like the posi rear end. Since getting the new differentials, I've noticed the truck goes up just about anything, things that I think it won't go up. As long as the tires are on the ground, it feels like it has lockers, but a huge problem that it has... This is a problem? It's a huge problem, Jerry! ...is when you lift a tire off the ground. So for the video, I found a spot where I could kind of teeter-totter between two tires, and you'll see it's spinning, it's spinning, and then I tap the brake to get it going again. That's kind of the cool thing about a Torsen is um, a lot of the Humvee guys, they get used to using that brake if they end up in a situation like that. Uh, it's not the best for rock crawling for sure, but it is nice to not have to regroup and start again. You can just hit the brake and keep going. Uh, this illustrates it more. I didn't do a very good job. I'm kind of overdoing it for the video, letting you see it just spin. And then I start putting a little brake on there and it starts going again. I love the lower gears. I like the Torsen in the front and I'll probably be putting uh, some sort of locker in the rear in the future. Thanks for watching.